Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are taking apart the Winchester turkey load. It's almost turkey season, so we're gonna break down all these turkey loads, measure everything out, see what's on the inside, and talk about it. So today, obviously we're using the Winchester, this 12 gauge, two and three quarters. Uh, the velocity is 1260, uh, one and a half ounce, number five shot. So, these are decent uh, little turkey loads. By far is not the best one out on the market, but it's decent. So, Super X, two and three quarters. So, we're gonna cut this open and look at it. When cutting up a shell that is live, do this at your own risk. Don't do something stupid and blow yourself up. And if you do, it's on you and not on me. Let's get to it. All right, let's cut this bad boy open. You can tell already that this shell does have some filler. I'm trying to protect, to look at the wad here by just cutting the top off. But it definitely has a lot of filler in there. You can see it. So we're gonna count how many pellets is in it. I'm also gonna try to measure, measure this to see if it's supposed to be a, a one and a half ounce load. So we're going to see if they're measuring with the filler or without the filler. It should be without the filler, but we're just trying to see if we're getting our money load. So there, there's all the, all the pellets. So let's measure it up. All right, so I'm going to zero that out. Pour it in. So that is 1.565. All right, so let me take out the filler and we'll measure it again. So I'm gonna take the filler out of the equation here and while I'm doing it, I'm going to count the pellets and we're going to see how many pellets is in it and then reweigh it. All right, I got them counted up. So let's weigh them without the, we need to go to ounce here. We, let's weigh them without the filler. Should be an ounce and a half. That filler obviously didn't weigh a whole lot, so you're getting what you pay for. So here we are in ounces. I got it zeroed out. We're just going to measure one here. We're going to see what one weighs. Technically, you could count them out, or you could just put that in there and divide it. So that's 0 0.006. Also going to measure one of these out. Um, uh, in inches, it's 0.119 and millimeters is 3.0 and millimeters. So it's supposed to be a number five. So if you measure all of them up and then it was 1.5 and some numbers, and then you measure it by itself and divide it, you should get how many pellets is in that shell. I counted them. Mathematically, it should be 250. I counted 248. So that means one or two might've been off a little bit on weights. And that's, that's not uncommon. They're not gonna weigh the exact same. Each one is not gonna weigh the exact same. But there's 200 and 50, 248 
and each shell would be different too because they're just doing it off real quick um, scale weighing when they mass producing them shells. So let's get to the wad. So we're gonna pull this wad out. I have to give me some needle nose. But here's the the wad. It looks like it's got four petals on it. It's definitely got. If we look down in it. So let's cut that out because we're going to measure. We are going to measure how much powders in it. Also, don't cut yourself. If you cut yourself, that's on you, not me. So, how many do they have in here? Is it one or is it two? All right, it's one. And then they have the plastic part of the wad the cup before I show you any measuring this is retired and will no longer be used because what happens next in this video you will see this isn't sufficient enough and if you're watching this channel I hold myself to better standards than ever using this again so let's continue on and no comments because I do waste a little bit of gunpowder. But going forward, it's going to be fixed. All right, so we got it in grains. We're going to zero that out. There's clumps. You see that clump? Look at that clump. Never seen a clump in there before. It's kind of odd. Definitely need something bigger to get on that scale. Look at that, that's crazy. Alright, so that's going to throw the calculation off dramatically a little bit. So that's 31. But I've never seen clumps. Like, typically, and I don't know what they're using. But I mean, that is like, it just busts us apart. And obviously, this has been kept in a nice, dry place. But as soon as you touch it, it falls apart. So, if you know what kind of powder that is, definitely has clumps. Um, comment below. Alright, so, very interesting in the shell. It was the cheapest one of the Winchester. It it's okay. There's way better shotgun shells just for a, a little bit more money. That pattern better. And I have patterned this shell, so I'm going to tag it in this video. You can go watch it later. But a couple things that I learned. Um, these El Cheapo things that come with the scale isn't sufficient enough to measure clumps of gunpowder i was not anticipating that so come next video these have been retired uh that won't happen again so we will get a accurate measurement but like you like i said comment below tell me what kind of um gunpowder you think that was i don't want to hear the comment where well, you should have used a better container i got that and we won't make that mistake again. So there's that. Um, very interesting three-piece design on the on the wad. You got your, your cup. You got your spacers. These come in all type of sizes, uh, depending on how much you got to space out, kind of different configurations that these go through. Oh, uh, that little teeny piece is hard to hold on to. 
But there you go. That's how it was in there. Very interesting. So, y'all hit that subscribe button. Like I said, there's a bunch more shells I'm going to go through. So, see you next time. Thank you.